Good morning, guys. Hope you're doing well. We've got the risk sentiment overview for the 22nd of November 2022, and we've got the Fed minutes tomorrow. We've got a fairly busy calendar today, but it really picks up tomorrow. Uh, the risk calculation is that we're risk on at the big picture, and the 24 hour difference indicates that they were already short, but they've added short, okay? And the VIX is under a bit of pressure. However, if I look at the VIX now, we are going up. So the VIX is appreciating. A little bit and we've got that uncertainty tomorrow so we can expect things to wobble and to be quite zigzaggy today i think and um we've got the world cup going on now so uh it's my preferred option instead of watching sideways chop i'm watching the football and then i'm just uh, placing orders to buy and sell at certain places i'm not entering a market because it's just chopping up and it's doing a washing machine spin cycle thing so uh, be careful if i trade the day it might be good um, but you know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, yesterday's Euro USD was really good. We made 41 pips profit, so that's cool. And you note that the Euro USD has now reversed, so the intraday basis is the way to go if we're going to be using the sentiment. And the uh, retail guys change their mind so frequently, I think we have to do intraday trades. We can't really swing trade because using the sentiment. It's uh, examining what the retail guys are doing. If they're constantly changing their mind, we need to be always one step ahead of them. So uh, if they're changing their mind, we need to flip bias um, quite regularly, okay? Uh, yields are mixed, and uh, the thing is with um, risk generally, we're quite mixed. I'll bring this over. All right, so uh, there's S&P. Did like make quite a heavy selling on the 15 minute and we are quite mixed here okay so VIX is something I'm watching uh, today okay so the yields are mixed and the indices are mixed so it could be just a spin cycle thing today and it probably be a bit of a flush tomorrow perhaps and then we've got Thanksgiving on Thursday so very very quiet markets it won't be a trailer day tomorrow um, for obvious reasons because we've got that Fed okay so this is the out of bonk yield curve uh data from last week uh they shorted no they've gone long <laughs> they shorted sorry the dollar cad the dollar swiss uk 100 they shorted kiwi usd they've gone long on the euro pound okay so you're looking for dark colors basically oil was an absolute nightmare if you saw the price action the oil that was news driven it felt six percent and then it rallied six percent so it would have chopped uh, retail guys up really badly uh humongously so actually it would have been awful to trade and uh, it's a good example perhaps to maybe avoid that right now because you know if it's news driven it's not going to obey technicals and it's not going to obey the sentiment sentiment does come from the news but you know it's uh when the news comes out so suddenly there's not enough time for the crowd to react and they get instantly squished um mixed so I think that's the summary today, isn't it? So um, Aussie USD is the weakest and the dollar yen is the strongest. Uh, this is subject to change. Obviously, this is the data from the minute I took that screenshot from last week to that time. OK, so this is quite accurate, constantly in flux and um, we are currently mixed. I don't know how legit this strength is. Also, I say the weakness in the USD. Uh, so we've got a bit of a battle here on the day and the week. Which one's going to prevail? Maybe, maybe uh, the dollar will soften, but I, you know, I don't know. I wouldn't like to think so because those Fed minutes could be quite aggressive, quite scary. And um, that's our trade of the day. So we'll have to wait and see. We've got the time date stamp and the price at the screenshot, so we can you know compare the results at the end of the day. Uh, Patreon. Telegram and Discord, so they're the links if you want to join them. Uh, so we're just sideways. There, you can see the sentiment sideways. Keep an eye on three nine twelve. That's the level. It's, you know, we had that support, swing low support, and then it became like a resistance, and then another resistance. So um, you could argue we made like a harmonic there. Can you see a W? So um, yeah, a bit tricky. So keep an eye on three nine twelve. And this is the sideways, so nothing to be said here. So I'm not sure if we'll do a video for Discord because there isn't anything to be said, I think, because we're sideways here. And I pretty much just like told you guys what's going on here. We're making risky sell. 
uh, because they're going long, but you know, at the big picture, we are a buy, so dips should be bought. But if they're going long, we can fall, and it looks like we are a little bit, yeah, minus, well, yeah, minus <laughs> 0 0.1%. So we just pretty much it's not really doing much on the US 30. Uh, DAX, likewise, they've gone long, but we are a buy at the big picture. So, you know, you're looking to buy dips, but wait for them to short before you buy, okay? And gold, um, lots of aggressive selling. So um, without them looking at the sentiment, they'd be looking at the price action and thinking, well, we could have a, you know, we could resume that downtrend here. This could, they probably think this is a dead cat bounce and we're going to resume this downtrend, but they haven't got visibility of the sentiment. And if everyone sells it, this won't be a dead cat bounce. It will rally and we'll do like a V. Okay. So uh, that's why you want to be using the sentiment in your analysis because it, uh, enables you to detect uh, fake nonsense and um, so you know you wouldn't have you wouldn't know if this was legit or not and if it continues high you might be a trying you might attempt to try and short it but you're not looking at the sentiment if they're retail guys are shorting it heavily and you are as well you're going to you know incur pain and loss and drawdown so you've got to keep an eye on your sentiment could have been a trap it could be a trap so you've got to be careful and we've got the Fed minutes tomorrow, so this could have been this could have been like a low in order to buy the dip, you know, you know just squeeze the retail guys out, then get in nice and you know nice and low, and then we get a good entry potentially. Uh, they've got the, well, there's lots of stop loss clusters above, and they're large. So the one above AU, EU, GU, NU, uh, EJ is also quite large, and dollar CAD's quite large above. So we might be trying to get the stops above on these on these instruments potentially, and um, the largest stop loss cluster is AU at the spooky number again. So that's kind of weird. So we're going up to take it, going down to take it, going up to take it, going down, and we're just basically liquidizing positions around that scary number. So be careful with Aussie, I think. Um, so the Swiss franc is currently rewarding the retail guys in so much that they're, what they're doing, they're getting paid. Um, so normally they get punished, but they're getting paid on the Swiss. Um, yeah, that was a good trade. Quite happy with that. If that's our weekly total, I'd be quite happy. Uh, remember, we don't have a trade of the day tomorrow. And we've got Thanksgiving on Thursday, so we could have a trade of the day. I'm not sure how you know good that would be because we've got low liquidity. US markets would be closed. So we could just be directionless on Thursday. So I'm not sure we should have a trade of the day Thursday, but I guess we can have one like a like a hypothetical one, a speculative trade of the day perhaps. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what happens today. This day was good. And uh, saying that GU and GJ are making buys on the QDB signals. So you want to check your technicals, look for entry. Are we above daily pivot? If we're above daily pivot, daily pivot could be your stop loss. And then you can see how you go. And this end does exit if we breach daily pivot, you know. So keep it nice and simple. And there's a calendar. So um, PMI from Australia. And we've got some CAD data out as well. Keep calm or chase safely. And I'm going to wrap up now because we've got the Argentina-Saudi Arabia match in five minutes. So that's going to be pretty awesome. And come on, England as well. And it's coming home. <laughs> I'll speak to you guys soon.